Welcome back to Crispy Comments Part 18, featuring two dudes who are getting very mad at me in the comments of my own video, by the way, but they were mad. And I will admit, I may have been a little bit more of a bitch in this one than the comments required, but I also think that my replies at least were funny. Starting off the context of this, these were all on one of my more popular videos, a debunking of a pterodactyl found in Toronto. It's a blue heron. But these guys were unhappy about that. And again, a bit more context, I called blue herons large motherfuckers, which to be fair, they are. So this guy, that is what he initially took issue with that. He said, don't call them mother F words. Couldn't even say it. I can call them whatever I want. I wasn't being too mean at this point. It was just a lighthearted banter. Then he claps back with, have fun not going to college. If you are familiar with me, hi, I'm about six months away from completing my Bachelor of Science in Biology. So, I am having fun currently being at college. So I kindly informed him of the fact that I am about to graduate with a biology degree. Then, this was on another comment, I accidentally said they're definitely Heron Wongs, and then I corrected myself. And then this dude, Fisher, goes, They have wings, not wongs. I-D-E-K what a wong is. And he clearly did not read down far enough to see that I corrected myself of an unfortunate typo. So maybe we need to work on our observation skills and you will be able to identify better that that is a heron, not a fucking pterodactyl. Pterodactyl? Fuck me. Pterodactyl. And then there's this comment up here, that's not the issue. Um, could be a different type of heron potentially, not likely, but still a possibility. It may not be a blue heron, could be like a green heron or a gray heron or something. And he goes, Hugh, possibility. And I reply with, who is Hugh? I'm assuming he meant to say huge possibility, but since you were coming for my typo of wings, I am not above coming for your own typo, so I'm just giving the energy back. I'm just matching his energy, that's a better way to phrase it. So then he goes, I liked your video and then unliked it because of your foul language. Now this is important to keep in mind because he said he liked my video. That means that he agreed with me. He was going to agree with my statement at this point, but he did not like that I used the word fuck. So just keep that in mind for the rest of the video. He did agree with me initially. And then we had Luke join the chat. Hi, Luke. Then he's replying just, a creator scaring away their followers like usual. And then Fisher goes, uh, thank you. Finally, some sanity in the comment section. Now, again, I want you to keep this comment in the back of your mind for the next segment. And to Luke here, I just want to say, I am so deeply sorry that you are so scared of profanities. It must be hard living in today's society when profanities are so normalized. So with your deep fear of profanities, so much so that you are scared of following me, you must be so courageous to be able to function in this society. I am so proud of you for conquering your fear of profanities long enough to come into my comment section. That must have taken so much courage, and I can't state enough how proud I am of you. Then we've got some rapid fire here from the bottom up. You can say whatever you want on the internet without proof. Exactly. That's why I'm on here debunking this pterodactyl because people are in the internet, in the internet, on the internet, saying things like this bird is a pterodactyl without proof. I am so glad we're on the same page now. Then you can say anything on the internet, hun. 
I agree, which is why I am trying my darndest to avoid spreading misinformation, such as a bird that is easily identifiable as a blue heron, calling it a pterodactyl. And then we go up to this one. Honestly, the comment section seems to agree that it's definitely something different than a heron, likely a dinosaur, so maybe check your facts. Alright, so which is it? Finally some sanity in the comment section when everyone else is crazy? Or the comment section fully, fully, fuck, I can't talk, fully agreeing with you. You gotta pick one, girly. Then, and get that imaginary degree reevaluated. So I will say, technically I don't have a bachelor's yet. I am about six months away from getting one, so I never claimed to have a bachelor's degree. However, I do have an associate's diploma, so there's that. I like the way that Luke thinks. I'm sure your six collective brain cells really get along well together. Then we have this lovely, so many fake TikTok scholars nowadays thinking they got degrees with their middle school diploma. Fun fact about me, I actually didn't go to middle school or traditional middle school. My town was so small that we didn't have a middle school, so I went straight from elementary school to high school, so there's that. And just because your intelligence may have never progressed past a middle school intelligence doesn't mean you need to project that onto other people. Going back over here quickly, we remember that he initially agreed with me in my assessment. So, keep that in mind. When we go back to this, the last comment we have here, I am an ornithologist and there is no blue and that, sorry, is no blue heron. I have studied many species of heron, Ardea heroideus, and that looks nothing like one of their wings. So let's back this up. Initially, you agreed with me. You liked then unliked my video, and specifically said that you unliked my video because of my use of profanity. So you did not agree, disagree with any of my initial points. Second. The use of the scientific name of the blue heron does not add any sort of credibility to your argument whatsoever because you can very easily Google that in literally two seconds. So whatever clout you think that adds and whatever credentials you think that adds to your argument, it doesn't. And Fisher, as a ornithologist, Again, you can just say stuff on the internet with no proof, so how do I know that you actually have credentials? See, I can pull up my school- I've put videos, or pictures at least, of myself on my college campus, so we know that I do go to school. You have absolutely no proof, and plus your account is private, so there's no way to fact check any of your things. And you would think that as an ornithologist, if I truly did misidentify this as some sort of heron, it's definitely not a dinosaur. You would think that as someone with allegedly a scientific degree, you'd be a little bit smarter than to clap back with the fact that this is a dinosaur. And perhaps I did misidentify it, maybe it's not a blue heron, maybe it's a grey heron. You would think that as an ornithologist who studies herons, that would be something that you would mention previously, instead of just as your very last comment, you only thought to bring out your credentials now. So I am incredibly disinclined to believe that you're actually an ornithologist. Not that anybody actually thought that with your collective six brain cells. But I digress. These two douche rockets were being unnecessarily antagonistic in my comment section, so I don't feel bad about being a little bit of a raging bitch back at them. Just saying, I returned the energy.